what is going on guys welcome back to the channel man it's your boy and as you can see today we're going to be taking our first look at the brand new guardians of the galaxy volume 3 uniform for Groot this man has finally hit his growth spur he's finally hit puberty and I ain't gonna hold you this is definitely one of my favorite if not my favorite look for Groot in the game right now last time they gave us a teenage Groot uniform this man looked like a stoner both his physique and his character portrait had him looking higher than a kite look at this guy's face right here bro he looks like he's a stoner true and true but this time around man he looks like he stopped smoking that stuff and start pushing that weight you might have to start calling him your neighborhood dealer anyways point is Groot's uniform visually is looking fantastic and in terms of his skills he actually has some pretty good effects on him so I want to take him for a spin today and show you guys how he plays now a couple things I want to give you guys right away his tier 3 which we're gonna go get right now uh, so that's not that bad not that bad anyways his tier 3 can be instantly cancelled and you ooh, okay Oh, okay, I didn't know. I, I didn't know we're in for in for a dance party. I, I did not see this ahead of time. I wanted to do it with you live. Hey, yo, Groot, that guy, bro. What the hell? <laughs> so we got a brand new tier three um advancement animation, if you will, for Groot. I like it. I like it a lot. So he got 25k for the HP. I would like to see a little bit more since he's base combat. 16.8k for the physical attack is pretty decent the rotation with Groot is gonna look something like this three cancel four cancel and then proc on five because you have that 100 damage proc on here and then star lord comes in for the fourth skill to do a little dance shoot off it's just amazing but um let me go ahead and put a proc on him see if he can actually be proc friendly because previously i was just running him with this obelisk right here which is really really good but uh we're gonna destroy it and give him this one right here all right let's see it first test stage 29 against mephisto type disadvantage how are we rocking Groot? Okay, we got guard broken and then we got caught by every blade twister. Okay, that's not cool. So if one thing I would like to see in this kit. Oh, wow. Okay, that's done. 20 seconds. That's really good. Really good thing about um, Groot is you can get his tier three every other rotation. And you don't even need to use all of his skills. That makes him immediately better than Rocket. Okay, I'm out. <laughs> Yo, his tier 3 actually hits really hard. Even though you can insta-cancel his tier 3, there isn't necessarily a spot for you to do it if you want to get his um, tier 3 every other rotation. wow that's okay now we can do it so we can just go six into cancel and then just go into the other rotation boom there we go nice it's kind of like loki however same similar to loki if the boss moves out of the radius you'll lose a bunch of damage so keep that in mind so you got to make sure you keep i can't really use it here because if uh mephisto come on if mephisto moves the um, tier 3 doesn't track. Wherever Groot spawns the trees, come on. Um, that's where it's going to be. So we go 6, boom, boom, boom. And the delay on the 6 is really nice. The delay on the trees popping up is really, really nice. So it's almost impossible for you to miss your proc. All you got to do is 3, insta-cancel, 4, insta-cancel, proc on 5. And if you want to do 6, insta cancel then you just repeat that it's just amazing it's so easy to use and really good damage see these are the kind of characters that i really enjoy using the ones that are very simplistic easy to pick up and play however Groot is not without flaws the number one flaw you just saw there um he gets guard broken very easily because he doesn't have invincibility okay let's go three six four and then five Ooh, very good damage so here's the thing if you want to play Groot as a dps which you see for yourself he is very much so putting out really good damage 
I would highly recommend that you're using with a CTP of destruction, a mighty destruction over a CTP of energy because he's going to get guard broken a lot because he doesn't have invincibility on his one through five. Okay. Let's go ahead and just build that back up. So you're going to notice, yep, we got guard broken there again. So the number one problem with Groot is um, he doesn't have invincibility on his one through five. So he's going to get guard broken a lot. Um, hello? I don't know why Groot was jumping into the two there, but he didn't trigger the proc. So that's good. Yo, he's hitting so hard. Like, significantly harder than any character I've played recently. Like, what the heck? Groot is... Well, I guess because he has his own support. And unlike most characters, they didn't, like, downgrade his damage to make up for the fact that he's a support character. Like, you know, like, when characters have the support passive, they usually make their damage doo-doo. Like, in the case of Groot, it looks like they made him to be, like, a really good DPS. And then they added on his support passive last minute. And because of that, he's looking really good. <laughs> now, we're going to still have to do more testing with him. Because this is still a relatively low stage. This is like a medium stage. Like for me, these days, I think when I'm testing a character with a damage proc, they need to be around stage 20. I would say one level per amount of pierce that I have. So the max amount of pierce that you can get on your cards is 25%. So if a character is doing really well on stage 25 plus, then it tells me that a character is at the very least good. All right, let me see how we do against Jean Grey. I want to see how we perform against a boss that is going to really like take advantage of Groot's weaknesses which what I've seen so far is he gets guard broken quite a bit and um hold on let's go ahead and co-op that to escape and then the other thing is I've noticed the um okay that was unfortunate but uh yeah we're fighting Jean Grey because she takes advantage of Groot's weaknesses. One of them is she moves around a lot and Groot, he kind of requires the boss to be stationary for his own, not kind of, he definitely does put a bulk of his damage on his tier three, as you're seeing right there. So if the boss like just moves, not even that much, you can lose all of that damage. So you have to time it really well. I would say there's a little bit of skill involved in, um, skill positioning timing involved in playing Groot like he's strong but he's not like idiot proof I would say okay come on and oh she's gonna uh unfortunate for me no worries, no worries. Well, he kind of is idiot proof in a way because he has the revive. So like you can mess around the first life and then if you mess up and you die, then you have the second life and then you take things a little bit more seriously. But he's not the tankiest character in the world. They only gave him a 20% heal like on his skill because they know he has that, um, what you call it, that passive that when he's hit, he heals for uh 20 percent as well so technically he has a 40 percent heal but one of them is a 50 percent chance when he's hit and the other one is like guaranteed okay gotta get out of there notice how i'm gone but i'm still doing damage because the trees are on top of jean gray and she didn't move good is like a ganja farmer bro like He's planting them trees, doing all kinds of damage. Damage. Oh, come on. See, he's not that tanky. Even though we're, we're using like a Val to give him some damage reduction, he's not that tanky. Okay, hold on. I think I'll just pop the tier three, to be honest, and just see what I can get from it. Oh, wow. Not bad. Like I said, he's not quite idiot proof, but because he has the revive, 
Ah, I wasted that tier 3 there. I was hoping since I was not going to get hit because I was in an iframe, um, we would be able to just ride out the, the tier 3 at least, but nope. It was too close. And she enrages really fast at the end here. It's going to be a slightly longer video than I'd like for a first impression for Groot, but I like it. I like the uniform a lot. Like, I like how it looks visually. I like how it plays. It's not perfect, but it doesn't have, like, it doesn't give me, like, that day one rage that some uniforms, you know? Like, oh my god, it's so bad. I have to try so hard to make it work. Now, nah, like, within, like, a couple minutes of playing, I can figure out how to use them. And then use it well at that. Because he feels like a character that was designed to be good. Like a good DPS and then they added on the support buff last minute. That's, that's how I'm looking at this, right? Pretty good performance here. Obviously, we're going to do more extensive testing with him. But all of that was being done with an obelisk. So keep that in mind, guys. We don't even have his artifact yet. His artifact gives him damage reduction. So I think that's the one area where they kind of shafted him. They didn't give him damage reduction on his uniform. So he is kind of squishy. 